This video will discuss out of plane terms in the molecular mechanics energy function for amber. So moving on, just as we have been discussing all of these terms for the amber energy function, now time to look at out of plane angles, which we'll remind ourselves from our previous chapter, represents kind of the angle between a given uh, bond vector and the plane formed by three other atoms. So all three of them are bonded to the same central atom, and then we pick one to measure its angle in which it's going out of the plane of the other three. <clears throat> Examples where this might be relevant are molecules like formaldehyde, where we want this sp2 carbon to have a planar geometry. So this oxygen here should be in the plane of these uh, two hydrogens and the carbon. Deviation away from that should be penalized with some increase in potential energy. Or something like benzene, where we have uh, six aromatic carbons there, six sp2 carbons, where this should stay in a planar arrangement around that carbon. So we'd have six out of plane angles in that kind of benzene molecule. All right, so we have the out of plane energy is a sum over all of the out of plane angles. And then we get a function which looks pretty similar to our torsion energy term from the previous video. We have one half, the uh, rotation barrier, times one plus cosine two phi minus 180 degrees. So we have a parameter in there, which is the rotation barrier, the maximum height of how high the energy will go if this out of plane angle goes all the way perpendicular up to 90 or negative 90 degrees. And we have our variable, the out of plane angle phi, which uh, most typically would be in radians. So if I had this 180 degrees in radians instead, that would be a uh, negative pi. Right. The domain of this, as I mentioned, goes from negative pi over 2 up to plus pi over 2, negative 90 degrees up to plus 90 degrees. So our function here is going to have a minimum at 0 degrees because we have an offset of negative 180 degrees as in the uh, gamma value from the torsion energy. And then any deviation away from that is penalized in molecular mechanics. The energy is going to be somewhere between zero and the offset barrier. And a typical value for something like um, an aromatic carbon, trying to keep this hydrogen in the plane of the other three carbons, would be something like 1.1 kilocalories per mole. So this V, again, has the same units as energy, so it'll be in kilocalories per mole if that is our energy unit. All right, so those are our out-of-plane terms. So let's do an example here in our uh, GitHub computational chemistry repository running in one of these Jupyter notebooks. In the notebooks directory, I got a notebook running there. And we're going to use this file, this ch2, ch2o.parameter file. This is a formaldehyde. So the four atoms there, uh, atomic uh, identities, XYZ coordinates, and some non-bonded parameters that are not relevant right now. We have the bonds, so each of them are bonded to the carbon, atom 1. There are the bond angles, three bond angles. And then the out-of-plane angle, defined by its uh, atomic indices there. And then I have 10.5 as the value of the parameter for my uh, rotation barrier going out of plane. So as we've been doing in this chapter, we're going to run this with our molecular mechanics energy function program. I'm going to go up a directory to geom for two parameters and run CH2O, shift enter. And we have this nice output. So we have a little bit of energy from bonds, a little bit from angles, and our out of planes is still zero because the molecule in this geometry is perfectly planar. So it's again spitting back to me the uh, geometry that read in, uh, some bond parameters and bond length data, some energy from that, energy from the bond angles, uh, didn't find any torsions. And then we have our out of plane angle where our out of plane angle, let's see, was negative 0 0.021 degrees. 
So apparently that was small enough that our energy does not show up at this scale. So I'd probably have to print out some more digits in order to see where it is that this value ends up becoming non-zero.